fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said... That's right, soon enough, you too will have the power. And you won't even need to hold aloft your magical sword to summon it. So sometimes when powerful next generation devices are launched, they upgrade hardware. Sometimes they upgrade software. Well, the Dexcom G7 is upgrading both. Today, we're talking about the Bluetooth upgrade that will empower the next generation G7 to transmit your CGM numbers directly to your smartwatch. Software upgrades that empower the new app, as well as one of the most important and significant upgrades thus far, the magic to empower the G7 to work as an artificial pancreas, alongside your pump in a closed loop insulin delivery system. So He-Man, are you ready? Let's move, cat. Well, welcome back all my type ones, type twos, Monty's and Lattas. Hi everyone, my name is Ben. I'm a type one diabetic, a firefighter, and a paramedic. And if YouTube content specific to you is important, please subscribe to this channel and I'll do my best to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of diabetes. So let's talk Bluetooth direct to watch. Now, one of the most highly anticipated upgrades to the G7 will be its ability to connect directly to your smartwatch. In order to do so, the G7 needs a small overhaul, specifically better Bluetooth. Now, as you can see in these reference sheets, the G7 sensor used a 2.4 gigahertz type of Bluetooth called BLE, also known as Bluetooth Low Energy. The G7 will also use 2.4 gigahertz BLE, but there's a difference. According to an article in myhealthapple.com, the new Dexcom G7 transmitter and receiver will be upgraded from Bluetooth 4.04.2 to 5.2 5.1. Now this is a significant upgrade for several reasons. First, the move from Bluetooth 4.2 to 5 allows the Bluetooth connection to go from 60 meters or 240 feet to 240 meters or 800 feet. So if you're wondering, yes, the G7 Bluetooth will be capable of connecting three times further than the previous versions. Pretty powerful. But still not powerful enough to transmit through water. Secondly, the G7 through Bluetooth 5.2's enhanced attribute protocol will now allow parallel Bluetooth transactions between different apps or devices at the same time. For an example, the G7 will be able to connect directly to your phone, your pump, and also your smartwatch all at the same time. This is gonna be great because if you are ever wearing the G7 linked to your smartwatch, you can actually leave your phone at home and continue to receive reliable CGM readings uninterrupted. Smartwatch maker's biggest hurdle will be gaining the FDA's requirements of sending alerts and alarms to watch wearers reliably through the G7 watch app. So far, Apple has been the only smartwatch company to work extensively with Dexcom in order to perfect this technology. But there are also plans to work with other smartwatches in the future. Apple's recent software updates through iOS 15 and Watch OS 8 include glucose monitoring and new health device connection capabilities. And if you ask me, this move clearly indicates that Apple is ready for the quantum leap to direct to watch for the G7. All right, let's talk G7 app. Now, in a recent interview with Jake Leach, the chief technology officer for Dexcom, he stated that the G7 app startup wizard will have an enhanced user interface. Now, if you've ever done any research on what it takes to build a good app or a website, you may have heard that two things matter the most, those things being the UI and the UX. The UI is a user interface. This is what you see and have options to do the moment you begin working your way through the app. The UX is the user experience. It's how you feel and what you're experiencing as you work your way through this uncharted territory. Now the new G7 app is touted to have a much better user interface, which should lend itself to a better user experience. At least we hope. In order to accomplish this, they have to include familiar functions that were in the previous versions, like the ability to manually calibrate, even though the G7 is said to be 100% factory calibrated 
from the box. One notable improvement is the ability to silence alerts and alarms for certain amounts of time even after the initial acknowledgement, including the below 55 alarm, which if you've ever been awoken to sounds a bit like what you might hear if you're working in a submarine and were about to be introduced to an oncoming torpedo. New and powerful functionalities through the new API, API is an acronym for application programming interface, which is essentially a software intermediary that allows two applications to talk to each other. The one in play now allows for communication retrospectively. That's every three hours in the past. For an example, if your iPen recorded your last MDI dose, uh, you could expect to see that timestamp viewable in clarity uh, in the next three hours. The G7, however, looks to utilize the newest technology of real-time API, from device to cloud, back to device, minute by minute. The G7 app software will allow for a class two FCC designation. Now this allows for Dexcom to bring updates to their apps and devices more frequently with new functionality via real-time API. So in plain speak, when updates roll out to you, you'll get them within minutes, maybe even seconds. Dexcom G7 app allows for more data and analytics to be on the main screen, eliminating having to toggle back and forth from the Clarity app. Also, it's important to note that the Clarity application will continue to work with the G7. It will work hand in hand with your healthcare provider, allowing them to legally link your Dexcom information and empowering them to make more informed healthcare decisions on your behalf. And if you're familiar with the Dexcom Follow app, all you moms and dads, which is an application that allows you to stay connected to your loved one's CGM readings remotely through mobile devices, you'll be glad to know that the G7 will still utilize this function as an app in the Google Play Store as well as in the Apple App Store. All right, let's talk closed loop and other partners. Now, in case you've never heard of a closed loop system, here's the gist of it. A closed loop insulin delivery system, AKA automatic pancreas, is a device or set of devices that empower continuous glucose monitors like G6 and 7 to use smart algorithms that automatically adjust insulin delivery to your body via smart pumps like Tandem, and Omnipod 5. The closed loop system uses an algorithm that automatically adjusts insulin in response to predicted glucose levels to help you increase time in the American Diabetes Association recommended target range. When the automatic pancreas in combination with your G7 determines that you are currently out of range, it will deliver an automatic insulin correction bolus. And additionally, if the algorithm determines that you are trending above or below the target range, the closed loop system also has the power to increase or decrease your basal settings to help keep you in range as well. Now the Dexcom G6 is currently approved for closed loop with Tandem T-Slim X2 and has filed for approval with the upcoming Omnipod 5. Although the G7 will be developed for a closed loop system, it will still need to endure the FDA approval before we can safely utilize this feature. But the good news is Dexcom has an official team called Type Zero that helps them with API partners. And they are part of Dexcom's research and development team. Their role is to work on automated insulin algorithms, closed loop devices, and smart pens. My hope is that this team will work tirelessly to get the G7 loop capability on more devices within the first year. And if you go to the Dexcom website, you can find a full list of all the partners Dexcom will empower you to work with. And just like that, you. I'm Ben. I'm Type Me. See you next time.